Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to find period of an electron in the Bohr's orbit. Well, we are going to use the equations that we have derived in the previous video lessons. Velocity of an electron in a given orbit is 2 pi k e square and h by h multiplied by z by n, where k is a constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, e is the charge of an electron, h is a constant called Planck's constant, z is the atomic number, n is the principal quantum number. And radius of the electron in a given orbit is h square and uh, by 4 pi square k e square of n square by m z. Now, being electron is revolving in a specified orbit, it is in a circular motion. Therefore, it, should, it will take certain time to complete one rotation. The time taken to complete one rotation is called as a time period. Time taken to complete one rotation around the nucleus is called time period. And we would like to calculate, derive an equation for the time period. We know being in a circular motion, the linear velocity equal to radius into angular velocity. From that we can write angular velocity as V by R. We know the equation for both V and R. We can simply substitute them to get the answer. That is V value 2 pi ke square by H z by n divided by r value h square by 4 pi square k e square n square by mz. We can rearrange the terms to get an equation. Therefore, omega which can be written like 2 pi by t equal to rearranging the terms 2 pi ke square h z by n into 4 pi ke square m z by h square and n square. So let us simplify the equation. Let us see what can be uh, say cancelled. So, if you rearrange the, rewrite the equation, we will get this value as 2 into 4, 8 pi and pi. Uh, pi and pi, that's going to be equal to be pi square. Yeah, there is a pi here, there's a pi here also. So, pi square k and k k square e square and e square e power 4 and uh, h and h square h cube into m is of course there z and z is something like z square n and n square is nothing but equal to n cube that's the value of angular velocity so we can write that angular velocity as something like 2 pi by t. So there are many terms, these are all constants. So we can write angular velocity in the nth orbit is angular velocity in the ground state multiplied by z square by n cube. So you can say a time period is directly proportional to because angular velocity is 2 pi by t inversely proportional time period is directly proportional to n cube by z square or if you want to write an equation for frequency how many number of the times electrons rotates around f you know that is reciprocal of the time period that implies you can write frequency is directly proportional to z square by n cube thus we are able to figure out the equations for time period and frequency being the other terms are constants we can say time period is directly proportional to cube of the principal quantum number and inversely proportional to square of the atomic number that's it thank you for watching